Good morning children. Welcome back to the online class of Sri Gogulam Public School, Guruvayu. I am Swati, your IT man. How are you children? How was your vacation? So I hope you all had a wonderful vacation. Right children? Yes. So yes children, in our last class, we have discussed about certain utilities of Windows 10. Yes children, today we will discuss about the disk cleanup utility. So what is that? Yes, as its name says, it is used to remove unnecessary files from the disk. Okay. Yes. And we will also discuss about the control panel. So what is control panel? Yes, it is a system folder in which you can see different options. And it is mainly used to change the settings of our system. So today, we will discuss how to change the date and time and also fonts. Okay, so let's see. The first topic is disk cleanup and this feature help your computer run faster by removing the unnecessary files. Okay, and let's see how will this work. So by clicking on the start menu then click on all apps. And after that you have to click on Windows Administrative Tools and there you can see the Disk Cleanup option. So just like this. Okay. Or else you can just type Disk Cleanup in the search box and press enter. So when you click on Disk Cleanup, the Drive Selection dialog box will open just like this. And here you can select the Drive. From the drop down arrow, you can select the drive that you want to clean up. Okay. And after selecting, selecting the drive, click on OK button. So, this function, it will search for that unnecessary files. Okay. And that can be deleted by you. By selecting the file that you want to delete or remove. And after that, click on OK button. So, that's how it works. Okay. And the next topic is control panel. How can you open control panel? Yes, first you have to click on the start button. Then all apps button. And then the windows system option. And from that you can select the control panel option. Okay. Or else you can just type control panel in the search box. Okay, that's a very easy method. In that search box, you just want to type the folder that you want to search for. Okay, yes. So when you select the control panel, you can see these options. Huh? It's all to adjust your settings of the computer. Uh, which are the system and security, network and internet, hardware and sound, programs, user accounts, appearance and personalization, clock language and region, ease of access. Okay, so from this options we can change the settings of our system. And here we are going to learn how to change the date and time. So in the Control panel option here you can see under the heading clock language and region change date time or number format option. So when you click on that option in the control panel the date and time dialog box will appear just like this. So here you can see the date and time tab is selected by default. So how can you change it? So click on the change date and time button so that the date and time settings dialog box will appear. So just like this. Now select the current day in the displayed calendar and you can change the month. And there you can see arrow buttons, forward and backward arrow buttons. Okay, so using that you can change the month. Then how to change the time by changing the hour. Select the hour in the text box. Here you can see 
the text box is there which is located below the clock hmm? there you can select the hour and click on the spin arrows no to increase or decrease the hours you can just click on that spin arrows and in the same way you can also change the minutes and seconds and after changing all these things you can click on ok button ok so that the date and time will change and next is how to change the fonts so fonts means it is a different styles of writing characters or text ok for example times new roman arial calibri etc it mainly helps you to change the display of text on the screen okay so how can we add new fonts we will get the fonts option from the control panel option from which you can add change and manage fonts on your computer from these options then you can see the font option from the so click on the font option so that the font window will appear so this is the font window here you can see different types of fonts and you can see the sample of a font by double click on any given font here you can see different fonts you can double click on any given fonts to view the sample of a font now to add new font to the font list how can we add by opening this pc folder by double clicking its icon on the desktop on desktop you can see this pc folder just double click on it then select the appropriate drive and open the folder that contains the new fonts okay from there you can select the font that you want to add and drag those fonts to the fonts window so that the new font will be added in the list of existing fonts you can just drag or you can also copy and paste those desired fonts to the fonts window okay so that's how we add new fonts to the font list okay and you can also delete the existing font by selecting the font that you want to delete and after that click on the delete button okay so that's how you delete the existing font children today we have learned how to clean up the disk then how to work with different settings of control panel like changing the date and time and how to add different fonts to the font settings or font window and also how to delete the fonts okay yes and i hope you all have understood all the topics that is taken today isn't it now read your textbook and try to do these things on your system so that's all for today let's see in the next class with new topics till then take care bye